Yo, Olympus Downforce are going absolutely crazy right now on the Phantom and Avalanche ecosystems. There's a new Olympus Dow Fork called Spartacus Finance and they have an airdrop coming. So let me show you how to stake and receive that crazy high APY on this platform. Let's get into it. So y'all, the first thing we wanna do is purchase AVAX token. So we're gonna to go to Coinbase now. Now I already have Coinbase open up here coinbase.com of course and we're going to scroll down to avax avalanche avax same thing i'm going to click it we're going to purchase ourselves some avax tokens all right y'all so after you purchase your coins on coinbase you're now going to send your avax tokens over to your metamask wallet address you need metamask for this you can use a hardware wallet you can't i can't tell you what to do but it's better to use a metamask wallet with your hardware wallet as well so after you have your hardware, after you have your AVAX tokens, you're going to send it over to your MetaMask wallet. So you go to wallet here on Coinbase. Obviously, you would send the amount of AVAX tokens you purchased over to your MetaMask wallet um, here. After that's done, you have the tokens in your MetaMask account. You would go over to Trader Joe's, tra Trader Joe's Finance, which, which would be Trader Joe's XYZ. And then you're going to go to trade. You're going to go here, click trade. And you're now going to trade your AVAX tokens for USDC. So obviously I have, there's a couple of AVAX tokens just for the purpose of this video in this wallet. I made this wallet for the purpose of this video. But you would come here, you know, on Trader Joe's and swap that AVAX for USDC here. You would So you would enter USDC and bam, USDC.C. You would swap that AVAX tokens for USDC. After you're done doing that, um, you're going to go to 8board.finance here, as you can see here, 8board.finance. Let me zoom in. Um, obviously, you can't zoom in. But that's this This is this is it here, 8board.finance. And what this is, basically, it is a cross-chain protocol aggregator. So I already have it here, but let's say I want to use AVAX and I want to send, you know, USDC. I want to send stables, stable coins from AVAX, from the AVAX network to the Phantom network. It already has it here. It shows any swap is the best, you know, best one to use here. So now, now you're going to send, we're going to send our USDC. And this is not, you can't really make, it's going to, once I click bridge here, is going to take me to the AnySwap router um you know website this is not really you can't really use it to make um swaps it just it, it shows you the best best swaps available so i'm going to click bridge and i'm not going to do it right now but i also i'm going to go through it for the purpose of this video so it's taking me to bridge we want to use the router so that's something that i need to fix actually so i have that usdc that i just swapped on trader joe's um, my AVAX, obviously I swapped my AVAX for USDC. I would now enter this USDC that I just swapped and then send, he would select, we would select the Phantom Network here. So we don't want to use Binance Smart Chain. It's automatically set to Binance Smart Chain. We want to use the Phantom Mainnet. And I believe you can only swap stables. Actually, no, you can swap some other, from AVAX to, um, Phantom, you can swap some other, swap Aave, Boo Token, okay, swap die. So mostly stables here. But you would then swap, um, you know, your USDC for USDC on the, on the Phantom Mainnet. As you can see here, it will charge you 0 0.9 USDC, so barely a, almost a dollar. Cross chain fee is 0%. Obviously, you're still paying something that's kind of, kind of not scammy, but they need to be telling the truth. You're obviously going to still pay something. And the min minimum you can swap is 12 USDC. As you can see here, that there's a maximum 5 million USDC, but the average investor is not swapping five million dollars at a time and you can see here it's going to take it could take up to 10 to 10 10 to 30 minutes mine normally you know is almost instant it takes anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds but that's how you would do that that's how you would send that's how you now have have usdc in your phantom wallet um and of course you have to already have the you know you have to already have phantom the phantom mainnet added to your metamask wallet but if you don't, I believe when you first open up Spooky Swap, if you don't already have the Phantom Mainnet added on to your um, MetaMask wallet, 
Spooky Swap does that. So then that's what we're gonna use now. We're gonna use Spooky Swap Finance, as you can see here. As you can see here, Spooky Swap, Spooky Swap Finance is the website. And now we want to swap our USDC that we have on the Phantom mainnet. We have our USDC in our Phantom wallet now. We want to swap that USDC for SPA. So let's say I had USDC here. I would just go here, type USDC in. I would click USDC. And then I would swap it for SPA. So I would type in SPA because that's the ticker symbol. There you have it there. And now after that swap, that swap should take about you know 20, 30 seconds. It's phantom. It's very fast, very efficient. You will now have SPA in your account. So now let's go to Spartacus Finance. And we're going to stake that SPA now. I didn't already have this pulled up. I should have. But that's fine. So Spartacus. Spartacus Dow, it should pull it up here. Um, and I, this is why CoinGecko is very useful. Most times, crypto websites don't pull up off of Google. So just to make sure you're using the, the right crypto website, just go to CoinGecko. I don't, folks, folks that are really into crypto don't like using CoinGecko for some reason. They say it's for beginners. It's for anybody. It's really, really easy to use. Sparkis.finance. You go to sparkies.finance and right here you're going to click open app. All right. And now, you know, it's saying I'm not on the right mainnet. It's going to ask me to change it. But obviously, I'm not going to do that here. But to make sure you're on the Phantom mainnet, I'm probably on the Binance Smart Chain mainnet or AVAX mainnet. You will click connect your wallet. Okay, so you have to connect your wallet to be able to see. Um, Like I said, this is for the purpose of this video, this wallet here. So... On the Phantom Mainnet now, you would just come here and you would stake. Um, once, once you have that SPA finally, it was it's gonna show a balance in here. I have some just for the purpose of this video, you know, just playing around with it. But you would you would it would show you your balance of SPA you have after we just did the swap process, and you would now come here and you would now stake your tokens. So after you do that, it will charge you a small fee, 10, 20, 30 cents, and then. You would click stake you would click the max amount you want to stake you would enter it here click stake and then after you know after a couple of minutes it could take up to 10 15 minutes because these systems are a bit slow when it show when it's showing your stake balance um and then after some time it will show your stake balance and it will show you know the re five day um rebase five day apy my bad and then the rebase which is you know your yield reward every eight hours or so i believe um, it does a rebase. So, with that being said, if you not if you if you've staked your tokens and you're not sure, you can always go to Zapper.fi, and you can it will show you Zapper.fi will show you, um, you know all the tokens that you have staked. If you have if you have a stake, they'll say S S P A. That just means it's staked. The S in front of it says it's staked. Eight Bridge is also a great way to you know check and see what's in your wallet. And by doing that, I believe you would go to, yeah, you would go to dashboard and then you can just add your address there and then it'll show you what you have, you know, in your wallet or in anybody's wallet. You, all you would just have to do is add their address in there. But yeah, y'all, that's how you stake SPA token on Spartacus.finance um, and receive that passive income. You know, Spartacus Finance is rumored to do an airdrop. They actually have, have announced it on their Discord. I don't know when that airdrop is coming, but it should be fairly soon. Um, you know, Parches likes to get the, those airdrops out out relatively soon. So that airdrop should be soon. Um, I think it's a great opportunity. We'll see how big that airdrop is, but airdrops is, are free money, y'all. Who doesn't like free money? But yeah, so I, if y'all enjoy this video, if you enjoy this content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, send this video to somebody, save it so you can watch later. So you can learn how to, you know, stake SPA, SPA tokens and participate in that airdrop. Y'all have a good day. Y'all have a blessed day. You. And y'all, one more thing. I left all the websites I used in the description of this video. So check that out for all the websites I use. Y'all have a blessed day.